Welcome to tutorial 1 of makeagame.tumblr.com My name is Rojan Preshta and this tutorial is about setting up Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition to compile DirectX project. I have a new DirectX 11 project which simply renders a triangle on the screen. As you can see, we have many intelligence errors. shown in the error tabs. These are simply errors detected by Visual C++ before the code is compiled. Now, you can turn them off for now. now if you try to compile this code, we get a lot of file not found errors. What actually has happened is C++ has no way to know where your DirectX files are stored. So it searches for DirectX library files in its default folders. And when it is not, when the files are not found, it simply displays the error. Now, we need to point Visual C++ to where the DirectX files are stored. Do this by going to project and it properties plus directories and we have this folders list of folder directories each pointing to specific type of files required by Visual C++ to compile the codes now for executable file we go to edit new and we use a macro for DirectX DX SD key underscore DIR let's just copy this code for a while we'll be needing them a lot now the folder for utilities is utilities slash x86 okay now we do the same for include directory edit new we paste the mic macro include now we do not touch reference source and exclude now for library is a tricky part out here edit control V IB slash x86 normally this would have been enough but we're using a win32 project along with Didex so we also need to add the win32 files into the DirectX folder. So, okay, and now the code should compile perfectly fine. Apply. Now you can see the code is being compiled file to file. And there we have a simple triangle on the screen. Let's close this for now. Now, 64 bit users of Windows will be getting will be getting build errors. Build errors are machine dependent errors. Add Visual C++ Express Edition does not have built in 64 bit coding support. It cannot compile the code in 64 bit version of Windows. No need to worry about it. There are two ways to solve this. One, if you are really building a industry standard project, then I would seriously recommend you to download Windows Mobility SDK from Microsoft site. Or if you're just 
beginner and you're learning, you do not have to download it. You just have to change your build settings. You do that by project properties. Linker graphs. And the default for 64 bit would in target machine would be machine x64. That means it will build for x64 platform. And if you change that to x86 platform, it will build for 32 bit platform. And and Visual C++ has a built-in 32-bit compiler. The code compiled perfectly fine. Okay, that's all about setting up your Visual C++ to work with DigiTex 11. In the next tutorial, we'll be covering the basics of DigiTex 11 variables and functions.